What does one say to an ancient Nephilim ghost? I suppose you start with another glorious day in the core. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Season 31 has been announced for the 12th of April for Diablo 3. We're going to talk about what this tells us for this game moving forward, because I think there are three big things that it tells us, which is going to be helpful for players, I think, to kind of plan their journey through Sanctuary, whether they want to play Diablo 3, come back for a season, skip a season, what we can expect from the game moving forward. So we're going to go through those things. Before we do, as always, though, a thumbs up brightens my day. Okay, so number one, we're going to get a season every three months. The last season started like early mid-January. This season is starting mid-April. It does look like every three months we're going to get a complete leaderboard reset, a complete fresh start. Always the most fun time in Diablo 3 is going through the game, finding your items, putting your build together. And it's really pleasing that that's going to be every three months. There have been times, even when Diablo 3 was the main game for Blizzard in the Diablo franchise, that we would go five, six months even without seasonal resets. So I do think that is, that is pretty cool that we're going to get one every three months. Also, we're going to get a whole month for this season to breathe. So Diablo 3 season comes out mid-April. Then we know the Diablo 4 season comes, I think, mid-May or towards the end of May. So we're going to get a full four weeks. Now, obviously, not everybody's going to want to play Diablo 3 for four weeks before Diablo 3. But I was speculating in the past that the Diablo 3 season would always be a couple of weeks before Diablo 4. Get people onto the Blizzard launcher, get them back into D4, get them buying battle passes. Um, but ultimately, if we do get this breathing time in between, then that's going to be good. There's no guarantee that will be moving forwards, but a season every three months, regardless of whether it is only a couple of weeks before every Diablo 4 season, I think is going to be pretty good. We also know that because we've got the open cube, we are cycling through the old season themes. Of course, we've just had Soul Shards, open cube. There's some really banger season themes left. Ethereals, we've got the Sanctified Items fourth cube slot there's, there's going to be some good ones coming and again that's kind of nice because it means that you can skip a season if you don't fancy the season theme you can just skip it you know there's another one going to be coming in three months time we're also getting a rotation of all of the old cosmetics so wings pets if there's any that you missed out because you just didn't get to play maybe you're playing a different game maybe you just weren't into diablo 3 at the time then again you can check out the, the preview blog look at the cosmetics and go do I want to play this for the season theme? Do I want to play it for the cosmetics? And then we can kind of move forwards from there. Now, the second big thing I think is, is there are no balance changes whatsoever. So that is it now. I think we are done with Diablo 3 in terms of anything changing ever. So we're not going to get any new balance changes to any of the sets. We're not going to get any number changes on them. Nothing's going to get looked at. This is all kind of set in stone. And with this also means that we're not going to get any more PTRs because there's nothing left to test. They haven't tested this new season theme with its interaction with how the game has um, updated to the, the season theme that we're going to get now, which is the open cube. How that interacts with the items in the game, the mechanics in the game, they're not going to test that. This worries me a little bit. So just off the top of my head, something like sanctified items where there was one power where the crusade had the automatic uh, meteorites falling down from like Vista Heavens. We now have that as a very similar item in the game on the Vigilante belt where it automatically you know, causes Vista Heavens as well. Will those things be duplicated? Will they interact together? Who knows? That could be crazy. Um, the kill streaks, how will they interact? I don't know. It looked, it, we're just not going to get any more testing time. Uh, and that is just kind of it. So, at least now we know we know where you know the Leapquake Barb is. We know where the Nova Necro is. We know where the Frozen Orb Wizard is. Obviously, season themes will impact builds differently. And I think the most popular season themes moving forward will be Ethereals. It will be Sanctified Items, stuff that change how the builds actually function. But in general, the other themes that they'll run, everything is now set in stone, and there are no more balance changes. Bit of a shame because the last patch, Season 30, did improve a lot of things. It brought big builds down, which was good. It brought some of the crap builds up, which was good. But I still think there is quite a lot of wonk left in the game. There is not a particularly even playing field. I think this job to sign it off as finished could have been done better. But it is what it is, and we are where we are. Okay, now the third thing. Similarly to the no more changes, we know we're not going to get the altar into non-season. Now, this was quite a big deal for the community. 
there was quite a big blog post of people saying, look, we want the altar to come into normal season. Now, I do get it. Obviously, the altar adds so much quality of life. The pet automatically picking things up, double DBs, double bounty caches, resource on crits, no crowd control immunity, passability. It's just a wonderful addition to the game. And it's a kind of a bit of a shame that it wasn't implemented like two, three years ago uh, and that we could have like built off it from there. But what Blizzard have done is they've just simply closed that that thread on the forum. You can't add to it and they haven't announced that this, the altar isn't coming to non-season, but they've just shut it down. And again, that kind of leads into the fact that we're not going to get any more communication on this game. We're literally just going to get told, yo, new season starts in three months, and uh, three weeks, two weeks, whatever, and that's it. We're not going to get any um, more updates to the season. The altar isn't going to come. Now, I do understand people's frustration because the altar just makes the game so much so good. The pickup radius, all the stuff I just talked about, is just fantastic to play with. On the non-season character, going back and doing my testing for season 31, it's, it is not as good to play. But ultimately, I think it's kind of nice because it means that when you do actually come and play a season of Diablo 3, you've got the altar to unlock and then you get all the benefits uh, of doing so and it gives you a little bit of a kind of elongated chase so if you do want to do your season journey and unlock the altar there's a bit more kind of like game time to to play there also tied to this the visions are not going to come to non-season they're going to be restricted to seasonal content only again i can kind of see the argument here you're trying to make the seasonal experiences rewarding for people who are coming not only are they getting a season theme they're getting the altar they're getting the visions so i do I, I think overall personally i think it's a good thing that these things are not in non-season but obviously a lot of people let's say might think that this current season theme is underwhelming maybe you only play monk or demon hunter and you don't really see how the open cube is going to impact you terribly well you might want to work on your non-seasonal characters not having that altar of rights means you are lacking like one or two GR tier power and you're also lacking all this quality of life thing. So I kind of see it both ways, but ultimately I think for the for the longevity and fun of the game, I do think it's best to, to leave it in seasonal only. So overall, on the positive side, a season every three months I think is a pretty good thing. There's been times in my life where I've been waiting, waiting more than three months after I was done with the season for the next one. So that's pretty good. On the negative side, I think there were probably still quite a lot of quick wins that could have been had on the table. You know, things like looking at this season theme that we've, we've gotten right now, adding the free rogue to it would have made it a much better season theme. Then every class would have got a little bit of power. Every build would have got a little bit of power too. But we'll just have to see where we are. So overall, this is just going to be a nostalgia. It's going to be a blast from the past. You get to do your reset every three months. You can play one season a year, two seasons a year, pick your favourites and come back. Uh, the game is going to be in a nice, nice spot uh, moving forward. So basically, I'm going to keep making content until people decide they don't want to watch Diablo 3 stuff anymore. I'm probably going to branch out more into Diablo 4 now. It looks like they've fixed quite a lot of that game. Again, we'll kind of have to see uh, how that all pans out. But overall, I think we can be in a, a fairly happy place with Diablo 3, even if they just reset it and cycle the season themes. I think that's good enough for me for a game that is really old, that's got no monetization for Blizzard. They can't really get any more money out of it. And let's hope that they carry on making improvements to Diablo 4 and turn that into the game that we all would like it to be. Right, so that's it, guys. I've been the Filthy Casual. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.